Thank you, ladies. Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. And, Mike, it's always a fun matchup when you've got those Pencrest school district teams going head to head. Yeah, no doubt about it. A lot of pride on the line in this game. Mm -hmm. Cambridge Springs getting back into region play on the road down in Guys Mills. And let's go to the highlights. Two of the top three teams in region two going head to head. The Devils at Maplewood, where it was homecoming. First Tiger possession. J.D. McFadden finds Clay Cox. He makes the nice catch to move the chains. A few plays later, it's McFadden with the touchdown pass as he gets the nice hook up here. This made it 7 0 in favor of the home team. Then Trent Wheeler can't handle the snap for the Devils. Here come that Tiger defense led by Shane Weigel. They swarm him for the sack. And Maplewood adds another shutout to the list this year. They blank Cambridge Springs this evening. Final score 41 to nothing. Let's head down to Conneaut area where head coach Pat Gold has won 100 games now with Cash hosting Hickory in region play tonight in region five. And how about this? Looking to get in the end zone. Hornets can't do so there, but the pass breakup. Cash able to cash things in here, leading 6 0 as they go up early in the Conneaut area. Uh, another big win tonight, 38 to 12. The victory as they get it done over Hickory this evening. Yeah, despite that nice catch in the back of the end zone, Jim Wolfgang's Sagertown Panthers visiting Eisenhower this evening. No score in the first. Eisenhower starting things off with a screen pass from Owen Trumbull to Cale Black, who puts on the move. Nice spin, breaks free. Another first down. Then it's Trumbull. Hitting Dylan Benson for the touchdown connection. Nice rollout play there. Finds pay dirt. Eisenhower goes on to beat Sagertown 44 to 6 as the Knights. Congratulations to them. They pick up the first win of the regular season. D10 all-time leading passer Ian Haynes and Franklin visiting Dubois in Region 7. Franklin picks up the win 42-35. Let's whip through some scores here in District 10 on the Lewis Fitness and Performance Scoreboard. Show them to me. Sharon beats Slippery Rock 14-0. Fair over West Middlesex 33-0. More scores out of Mercer County. Wilmington rolling past Lakeview 42-0. Greenville over Sharpsville 20-12. Two more scores. Grove City, a shutout win over Brashear, 36-0. Reynolds beating Mercer to stay undefeated, 40-13. Don't forget, tomorrow, two more games at 7 o'clock. Warren visiting Northeast. Fort LaBeouf is at Meadville. And on the Lewis Fitness and Performance preseason scoreboard, the Erie Otters fall to London, 4-3 in a shootout. Brendan Sellen netting a pair of goals for the Otters, while Brendan Hoffman added the other. Erie will conclude their preseason schedule tomorrow night in London. And at Mercyhurst University in their ice center, U.S. Premier Hockey League action, Lake Erie Bighorns making their home debut against the Columbus Mavericks after a scoreless first period. In the second, Jack Wander gets in front of the net, gets the nice feed, and lights the lamp. Columbus was up one to nothing. However, Lake Erie would score three times in the final period. They go on to win their season opener on home ice, winning it three to one. Same two teams will be back at it on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. from the Mercyhurst Ice Center. And when we come back to Friday Night Lights, we'll have our big play of the night and, of course, our band of the night as well. Yeah, so much more. Stick around. We got uh, got you covered up next.